Hi everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the comparison between simulated and observed temperature used uh, artificial data. The reason because I previously I make another tutorial how we can compare between simulated and observed precipitation from SCF5 and as well as CSV5. However, I um the outcome of that tutorial is will be an image like this. Um where we have shaded regions is simulated uh, precipitation and the observed temperature of precipitation at each station as the dot point in here and however i cannot share the data because this is confidential so i make another tutorial in which i use artificial created artificial data to demonstrate how we can obtain and plot the same figure so that you guys can play uh, by yourself so the outcome of this tutorial will be an image like this one. We also have the shaded regions. Uh, just uh, suppose that it is a simulated for a model. And also the dot point here is the observation. So this will be a two separate data. Uh, dot point is uh, observed uh, from, let's say from weather station. Uh, the value is temperature. Okay, the first thing that we need to do in this tutorial uh, also similarly import a library where there are certain libraries you as you can see in here i'm not going to into detail certainly you can search for more information about it in google so as in previous tutorial uh, we will create artificial three-dimensional data uh, or simulated temperature so in order to do that we use the random function so in here because this random function uh, generate the value from 0 to 1 so that I plus 25 so the range of this temperature I put it aside into the variable name temperature fake so the value of this temperature fake will be from 25 to 26 um, yeah so I plot the I use plt dot in show uh, just to have a quick look at this spatial distribution of the temperature so as you can see, uh, its value as every grid box instead of if I use in the contour F, then we will have a contour of temperature. However, in here's the in show function will show you the value at each uh, individual box or uh, pixel, and we also have a color bar here where the minimum value should be twenty five and the maximum value should be twenty six, and so now. This uh, just suppose that it is the simulated uh, 3D uh, simulated temperature from, for instance, WAF model, uh, as in the previous tutorial where we have um, the, the shaded region like this one. And then the next step is that we create artificial observed temperature at the weather station. So I make it by uh, making last time we have a uh, 100 station and 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 i make an array 100 and 101 and rows and three column here so for the first column it will correspond to the x-axis for the second column the value will correspond to uh, the y-axis and the third column will correspond to the temperature value so that's why I make up uh, by using the temperature of all of the row 101 and number two here is third row and then I, the value at the third row will from uh, after this command line it will from 0 to 1 uh, and then I plus 24 here so it, its value should be from 24 to 26 that's why I um, I make it because it will be similar with the spatial distribution of temperature we have in here. Okay, so that's after that I can plot the scatter plot. So um, just a note, the first index in the column here here is stand for the first column, uh, or the long in 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 the in the climate we can imagine um, it will be a longitude. And for the number one here, it can be a latitude. Um, so when we plot it, we have 
the spatial distribution like this. And if we we want to plot the, for instance, at each station, uh, the temperature will be recorded and save it into the third column of the temperature array. And then we use the command C equal temperature and specify all of the row by the column and to, to for the value of the temperatures. So that's why we can have a different color at each individual dot point here. I also plot the color bar for you to see. So it should be from 25 to 26. The next step is very simple. We just need to overlay uh, this cutter plot over this spatial distribution. So in order to do that, we, we would need to have a uh, same color bar. So I also similar to the previous tutorial, I make a manual um, color bar or in here I select the red color. This will have the gradients of red color from the darkest to the lightest. And we you can also um, replace by other colors specified here. Um, yeah, and then in the next section, we will uh, put this column, color, this list into a this function to create a C map. We also specify the level, which is from 25 to 26, uh, with an interval of point 0.1. I put uh, 0 0.01 because I want the last value 26, because I use number dot range. I can also make a second uh, map uh, C map. And then I plot the spatial map by using the com com command contour F. So as you can see here, it had a contour instead of the dot uh, grid box value as in the in this figure. So let's see the first argument will be the X value. The second argument will be the Y. Um, it should be the capital X and capital Y. And then we have a temperature fake. So this is two dimensional array. And also we have a C map and the level. And we can plot the scatter plot of temperature. Uh, we also use the temperature with our C equal temperature with the value of observed temperature in the third column. And then we have a color bar and set a title as in the previous tutorial. Okay, let me run this again from the beginning to make sure that everything is correct. Should be plus the figure. Yeah, so this is the final figure where we can see uh, each individual dust point can be understand, can be assumed to be a weather station where we have observed temperature and the, the contour co shaded color regions uh, can be understand at the simulated temperature for a model such as WAF model. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, play, please feel free to let me know if you have any other questions. Please subscribe my YouTube channel too. Thank you very much.